McGee TV. TV. Welcome back, McGee TV viewers. I recently downloaded the demo for Gran Turismo Sport for PlayStation 4. I played the original games on the PlayStation, but the series never really captured my attention. The Gran Turismo series always stood out to me as graphically impressive, with beautiful lighting effects for shiny, luxury sports cars, and realistic backgrounds and textures for the tracks. The level of detail and vast array of real-world licensed brands always impressed me. While I appreciate the accuracy and polish, the gameplay never really grabbed me. The lack of visible damage to vehicles upon impacting walls, cars, and other obstacles takes me out of the experience. I remember having more fun playing NASCAR 98 on PlayStation and smashing into less detailed, blocky car models. To be honest, I'm a casual fan of racing games with a strong preference for arcade-style racing and vehicular combat racing games. I played a lot of OutRun, Ridge Racer, Mario Kart, and Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. The Gran Turismo series is not one of my mains, but nevertheless, I found the comprehensive package offered by Gran Turismo Sport to be accessible to a wide audience including casual fans and hardcore GT aficionados. Gran Turismo Sport begins with a multitude of brightness and graphical settings. My current PS4 setup includes a 2K monitor with a high refresh rate, a standard PlayStation 4, and a Hophog PVR2 for video capture. Gran Turismo Sports gives players the choice of multiple modes with a variety of features in each mode. Campaign mode provides a driving school with a massive set of tutorials including instructional videos and small driving sequences to teach players all the techniques necessary to drive your car. Aside from the tutorials, campaign mode offers a series of missions and circuit experiences. I spent most of my time playing the arcade mode, which launched me straight into circuits of races. Arcade mode features local two-player co-op and PlayStation VR compatible driving modes. Both of these features I have not had the opportunity to try out. Sport mode is for online competitive races. Brand Central offers a high degree of customization for your driver's helmet and uniform colors, as well as your vehicle's paint job. I found the options to be surprisingly robust. Perhaps the most unusual and surprisingly fun mode in Gran Turismo is the Scapes mode. This mode allows you to select a high resolution photo of a real world city like Tokyo, Lisbon, or Paris. You can select among the cars available in your livery stable or garage and place them in the photo. You can rotate the vehicle, turn the brake lights and headlights on or off, and move it around the screen. Selecting from an incredibly realistic set of camera options including f-stops and shutter speeds, you can manipulate the aspect ratio and adjust a variety of brightness and color effects such as black and white filters. After posing your car and tweaking the settings, you press a button to take a screenshot, which saves to your PlayStation 4 photo library. As an amateur photographer, I was simply stunned by the amount of detail and effort put into this optional game mode. Overall, I had fun playing Gran Turismo Sport. While I do not feel that it changed my views on the series, I do feel that the developers put a lot of effort into making a high quality game. While this review of the demo is reaching you after the release of the game, I played the demo prior to the release. I did not pre-order the game, but I will most likely pick it up when the price falls to around $30. I recommend this game to fans of the Gran Turismo series and PlayStation 4 gamers looking to enter the genre. Please let me know if you agree or disagree with my review by commenting below, or visiting us at mcgeetv.com, or on social media at mcgee underscore tv on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, check out Evan and myself on Twitch at mcgee underscore tv and xxscissorxxgaming. Finally, please like and subscribe for future content, and as always, thanks for tuning in.